This is like nothing I have ever heard in my life ever. Okay, so we are officially starting on the Kylie Minogue rabbit hole. Or kangaroo vortex, as somebody said on the channel. Um, this one is a collaboration with Nick Cave and it's called Where the Wild Roses Grow. Let's check it out. Now, on my last reaction of Padam Padam, a lot of people picked up on my comments in that video saying what I said that uh, Callie Minogue is a forgotten artist. And I got a lot of, uh, she's not a forgotten artist, blah, blah, blah. She's this, she's been going for five decades, blah, blah, blah. What people fail to pick up on is I said, she's a forgotten artist to me, <laughs> to me. I forgot about her. Not she's a forgotten artist, I'd forgotten her. Just want to make that clear before anyone else says that. Okay. Right, on with the kangaroo vortex. <laughs> Let's go. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on. What is this style of music? Is this influenced by Nick Cave? I have never listened to Nick Cave in my life. This feels like doom and gloom. I feel like there's somebody dead in the water and he's washing his hands. Because he's killed somebody. Hmm. Do not know. First day I saw her, I knew she was the one. She stared in my eyes and smiled. For her lips were the color of the roses that grew down the river, all bloody and wild. When he knocked on my door, oh, she's a and entered the room, my trembling subsided in his sure embrace. He would be my first man. And with a careful hand, he wiped out the tears that ran down my face. They call me. Has he cracked on the head with a rock? Hang on a minute. This is like. It's like a love at first sight story. So when I first saw you, it was like this your lips, lips with the colour of roses and stuff, you wiped the tear from the head. And it's from the different perspective of both the, the 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 man and the lady in this in this messed up scenario and it feels like it's building up to like one of them films where at first everyone's happy then when one of them turns into a stalker or a murderer and you know he, he ends up killing her who's eliza dane is this a factual story because i feel like the key it feels like something factual even though it's put into song form this is like nothing I have ever heard in my life, ever. Okay, let's continue. And with a careful hand, he wiped out the tears that ran down my face. They call me the wild rose. Probably the dead rose now. But my name was Eliza Day. Why they call me that I do not know. On the second day, I brought her a flower. Okay. She's more beautiful than any woman I've seen. I said, Do you know where the wild roses grow? So sweet 
and scarlet and free On the second day he came with a single red rose He said give me your loss and your sorrow I nodded my head as I lay on the bed If I show you the roses will you find oh I am getting massive Tim Burton vibes from this video man Talk of the second day brought me a rose lay on the bed. It's two perspectives again of what happened the second time they met. And I feel, obviously, there's another couple of minutes left in this song yet. And I feel like they, they, they're building up to the fact of why he killed her. But there's also a sensual side to this where he's just, like, rubbing her body very, very slowly and down her leg and stuff. Like, he really loves this person who's killed. Maybe he didn't mean to kill her. Oh, my God. I can't take my eyes off it. This is very, very engaging. She was being taken to be killed. She thought they were going to the to the roses and get smacked, and then you get smacked in the head with a rock. And puts a, you know, as a mark of respect, puts a rose in her teeth. This is like Walking Dead, Carol, when that kid's gonna turn into a zombie. Smell the flowers, boom! Wow, it's ruthless. Didn't expect this. Now, I know a lot of people have said Kylie Minogue is very, very diverse throughout the years, but jeez. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm a little bit, I mean, I'm, I know I've talked a lot, but I'm speechless. Bye. Said all beauty must die. And I leant down and planted a rose between her teeth. Then cries for a, what I can see in between them two thumbnails. Oh my god! I, I, see, I've heard like things like I should be so lucky, and then you know we've just done that song Padam, and somewhere in the middle we've got this some sort this this like this murder ballad. Very, very sensual, very seductive, very engaging, very I killed you because I loved you type scenario. I'm going to look up the meaning of this song because I want to know what it's about. I want to know if it's factual as well. Whoa, it's like watching a bit of a film, that. Right, well, it says in the song facts, it says, Kelly Minogue sings on this song with Nick Cave. It's the tale of a man courting a woman and killing her while they're out together. It's Nick Cave's biggest commercial success to date, and it reached number two in Australia and the top 20 in the United Kingdom. It was inspired by the traditional number, The Willow Garden. I don't know what that is. Uh, another song wherein the protagonist murders a beautiful young girl down by a river. 
Cave explained about the collaboration with Kali Minogue. I wrote whether wild roses grow because I wanted to see if I could get her to fit in my world. I sent a sinister demo with the guitarist Blixer Bargeld singing her part and her management went into a meltdown. They said it was madness, but she heard it and Kylie said yes. Whoa! So this is this is largely Nick Cave's influence. It felt like a film. It felt like a like a like a like a, a, a horror thriller type thing. I feel like I've watched a movie. That was that was incredible. Wow. My God, I can't wait to do the rest of this kind of no rabbit hole. That was a massive surprise. Okay, if you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe, and I shall see you all in the next one.